is something really out there. You may have heard the pilots and other military personnel have been reporting these, these kinds of sightings for years. A couple weeks ago, the Department of Defense even released footage shot by an air reported the sighting over an area of New Mexico on Sunday. Here is what he reported seeing at the time. Have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that, I hate to say, this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. Air traffic controllers reportedly didn't see anything on their radar, and the director of the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico confirmed there were no missile tests on that day. Well, yes. Listen, Al. Don't, listen, you 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 talk, and I'm going to debunk everything you say. I look. I think I might surprise you, Jeff. I <laughs> I've talked with people that are, are 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 staunch people that say that there's no aliens. I believe that there are. I believe that the people that have seen them seem to be credible people. I don't understand as our boss is laughing. Are you being serious? I am laughing. being dead serious. Yeah, yeah. Of course. You thought I was anti-alien? Anti well, there were some Snickers in the background. No, that's our boss laughing at my take. <laughs> Actually, now, did you think I was going to be anti-alien? I thought you were. No, there's, a, ton, there's oh, a lot of planets that have very similar characteristics to ours. We're going to Mars. Why can't Not, they do stuff? Thank you. And we have an entire department. I mean, the Pentagon has already leaked so many documents that point to Tori, all of these unidentified objects and alien life. So why are we surprised? Why do people not believe it? Uh, why are we getting snickering in the okay. studio? <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain what I think is happening with Chris, and I don't mean to speak for him, but that part of the country, the New Mexico area, is where they do secretly test for missiles and new aircraft. So yes, could it be a, a, an alien? I hope so. I want to know that. Could it also have been an aircraft? a uh, test that they didn't want to disclose, yes. What about these videos, though, of like that Tic Tac video with General Freiburg, who they're actively blocking the radar of our army? Like, they're trying to get a hold of that thing and shoot something, not shoot it down, but shoot some radar onto it, and they're actively blocking that. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, Tori. Those are aliens. Those are aliens. Those See, are aliens. That was easy. Well, I thought that was an alien right when we started that clip. I don't know if someone closed That was Tori coughing, or coughing or it was through an alien. our first segment during sweeps. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. An old and a gee 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 ha 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 ha. They laughing now, but they won't be laughing a little bit. Laugh now, cry later. You know. All right. This is Zachariah five and one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. Barakatai how barakatai how sha barakatai how barakatai how sha call lawyer how bashimi how sha. All right, Yasharala, we're going to go and deal with it. Yeah, about a week ago, I did a uh, report on a dream I had about the apostles. And um, I used a clip from this movie, Ariel's. Now, when I actually did it, I thought to myself after watching a movie, man, it's a highly spiritual movie. It's a lot of little uh, meat, you know. A lot of little meat and potatoes in this movie. Now, the movie itself is, uh, the movie, the graphics really ain't all that good. The UFO scenes is cool, but, um, yeah. In this movie, instead of them calling the Ariels, they should have just called it Israel. And I'm going to tell you why. All right, this movie was actually shot, I believe, in Dubai. And people gave it, you know, a low rating. However... If, if you're a Jake with the eyes out or, you know, you want them Jakes to know about the truth, then this this is actually a five-star movie to you because this is all about you, you know. Actually, in the, in, in the movie, they tell you about um, all the UFO sightings that was in the Middle East, you know, even from antiquities, you know. And um, I was trying to bring it up, but it wouldn't let me bring it up. They had over 70,000 UFO sightings. And actually, um, they actually believe in um, the you know UFOs and stuff over there. There's actually in the Quran. I don't deal with the Quran, but um, yeah, 
when I, you know, when I used to read some of, um, you know, the Quran, they actually going to um, the flying machines, and they know that we Jakes over there, you know. So um, I'm gonna pull this up and show you this right quick. Yeah, these are um, UFO sightings during antiquities. Like, for instance, it goes into Rome. In 217 B.C., numerous witnesses in Rome watched a group of shiny round shields of polished bronze moving across the sky at the same time in the countryside east of Rome. Many people reported seeing mysterious forms of men completely dressed in shining white. <laughs> All praises. Three years later, people in northern Italy saw something like a large white marble altar in the sky accompanied by human shapes clothed in brilliant white. In 154 B.C., more flying shell like disc appeared. One night in 104 B.C., people of two Italian towns watched as flaming spears and oblong-shaped shells rushed at each other in a kind of aerial battle. Yeah, and it just goes on and on and on. In 100 B.C., a very large round-shaped shield-shaped object traveled across the sky. In 91 B.C., a fiery a huge fiery disc was accompanied by sonic boom-like sound. Later that same day, people in Spoleto watched the UFO's vertical approach and take off. Wow! As a great colored ball, gold-colored ball rolled down from the sky toward Earth, then rose up again. In 74 BC, thousands witnessed a large flaming object of molten silver crash land between two armies on a Roman battlefield in Turkey. All praise. Now look at this time. It says 74 BC. And the clip in this movie, let me see if I can get it. This is called uh, Wonders and Marbles. If anybody want to do a, um, a lesson on this, Apostle Tahar might have did a lesson on this, I believe, uh, about two or three years ago. But I'm going to show you something in this movie. And I only bought that movie up concerning the apostles because I like that one clip where it showed the big UFO with the red shield in the front. However, or the red circle, when I thought about it, I said, man, this movie is real spiritual. Yeah, and that's part in the clip of the actual movie. They tell you about the reports of the UFOs that they were seeing over in Turkey. You can't really blow it up. You're going to have to... Yeah, now every time something happened in this movie, they would show like these statues, um, these uh, statues of uh, Jake's, and then they would always show you like uh, statues of uh, Native Americans and um, statues in the Orient. Now remember, at one point in time, you know, it was it was Jake's um, who was who was really in the Orient or Asia Minor, real heavy, you know, and it's still a lot of Jake's over there, you know, especially in um, southern China, you know, all right. And they'd always show these African statues, like this one right here. You know, every time something happened, it's like, you know, over in the Middle East, because, you know, there's a lot of fighting going on, and they know who Jake is, you know. Jake's always reported when they go over there, you know, a lot of people, they'd be calling them Yehudi, you know, because they, they know who Jake is, you know. And that that's another reason why there's a lot of fighting over there, because they like, well, shit, how, how'd, you, how'd you leave, you know, black and then you come back you know looking like a pastry puff all right so yeah let's keep going yeah and see they they to they are totally aware over there that Edom is going to fight you know these chariots and everything coming out of the sky they are totally aware of that you know and they actually point out a lot of that in this movie you know They don't tell you directly, but you got to be able to read between the lines. Here, it was 
There's no one there. I just checked the house. There's no one there. They're not. 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 they they described as flaming horses, you know, and they described them as, lo as looking like Jake's, you know, or like Negroes. And, um, yeah, and here, through a lot of symbolism, like I said, they show you the different statues. I thought I'd save the picture somehow they're not on here, you know, but it's all good, though. And, um, yeah, they also show you, um, like I said, the different statues, you know, um, different Jake statues. You know, every time something happened, they showing you um, a statue of a Negro. Like they want you to put the pieces together, and then when when, when they um when the actual uh, beings themselves shows up, you know, they they show you like the silhouette, you know, and they look just like Jake's, you know, because yeah, they 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 already know what's going down, you know. All right, this is Zechariah 5 and 2. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I said, A flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubics, and the breadth thereof 10 cubics. This is Zechariah 5 and 3. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side, of According to it. All right, this is Zechariah 5 and 4. I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and they shall enter into the house of the thief, and to the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and they shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. Now, now watch this, because I'm telling you, Jake, especially them people in the Middle East, they already know what time it is, and they know what's going on. I'm going to show you this one more clip, and I'm going to close out. But, yeah, any anybody else, you know, you probably want to check the movie out. You know, because, like I said, it got, got a bunch of little tidbits in it, you know, because they know who you is. It's just that Jake don't know who he is, but everybody else know who you is. Yeah, and see, they know that they, they really couldn't just show, like, um, you know, like black men. So they had to show you, like, the silhouette, you know. And if you look, if you really pay attention, look look at how look at how you know how the silhouette is shaped. You know, it would appear as though, you know, if you pay close attention, you know, the way the uh, midsection looked like he would have like a um, you know, a random paps like um, the golden girdle, you know, like he would you know like he would be dressed just like one of them, but they purposely uh, blur it and don't show you, you know. Because they, I guess they want to uh, try to create more uh, suspense, but they can't really show you um, that they jakes. You know, it's for us to figure it out and for us to know. You know. get these last scriptures and I'm going to close it out and I'm going to run that scene back. Second Edges 13 and 10. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flame and breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flame and breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up everyone so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid all right i'm gonna play the last clip because they know who you is jake oh yeah here go those clips i was looking for all praises yeah see they keep showing different statues and stuff from antiquities look at this you know, they, they really can't show you the jakes, you know, but they keep letting you know, look. Yeah, see, more statues, you know. 
Yeah. They keep showing them. See, different scenes. You know, from antiquities. Remember, Jake was over in uh, Asia Minor, you know. Look. Everything was shut down. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's like they they in the house, you know, and they 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 scoping everything out, you know. And I don't I don't know if he's a Jake or not, you know, but um, yeah. It just showed him like he was wrenching his face off, you know, from frustration and, you know, just being bugged out from everything that was going on. Jake, I just wanted to point that out, you know, so now y'all know, check out that movie, you know, because um, in this movie, it's pretty much letting you know that them people over there, they know who you is, you know, so, um, yeah, the cat is out the bag now, you know, there's no putting it back, you know, so, um, you know what it say, you know, once all this truth is real, then the end shall come, so, yeah, man, hopefully you was edified as I was, and on to the next one. Shalom.